I'm going to be fishing for sharks today and hope to show you some action. Well, it looks like I chose a pretty windy day, which is a good challenge to see if this multi-joy fat tire e-bike can get me the number of miles from the parking lot to my great fishing destination out here. Before I get going with my shark fishing adventure, I wanted to comment on the fact that the multi-joy had no problem at all getting out here with the heavy milk crate with about 20 pounds of gear in it attached to their heavy duty rack. Well, let me get set up, see if we can catch shark. I need to pan the camera around if I can hold my hat on so you can see exactly why you need a fat tire e-bike to get away from the crowds. Check this out. There's the beach and there's no one in sight. You can get away from the crowds on a beach. You've got your own private fishing spot. And I tell you, these fat tire e-bikes like the Multijoy are just great for getting you a couple miles away from where all the kids are swimming, people walking under the line and getting tangled, all those kinds of things. You need to get away and you need to get away far. And this is much farther than a 70 years old gray hair I could walk. So I love my e-bike. Another key reason you want an e-bike is because it's windy on the beach. Right now it's blowing 15.1 with gusts up to 20 and that would be a heck of a headwind to have to try, to try and pedal back into. But with the e-bike, with the multi-joy, I just hit the, the control, bump up the pedal assist, and I'll be cruising all the way back to the parking lot. Now that I'm here, the first thing I need to do is catch some bait. Sharks like to eat croaker. So I've got my croaker rig here. Let me show you what it looks like. I like using these small treble hooks with a little piece of crab on there and then I've got an orange bead as an attractor. I've got a little bit of weight on there because the tide is moving a little bit fast today. So I need to get out here to catch some croakers and then we can catch some sharks. When fishing for croakers, it's best not to leave your rod in the rod tube. That's just for when you're doing something else. You need to be able to feel them hit the line so you can pop it and set the hook because they're going to be grabbing at that little piece of crab shrimp or crab or shrimp fish bite. I think I'm getting a tickle right now. Got the bait. Now I can fish for sharks. Here's what Steve Sharon taught me about shark fishing. You got to get a rig like this. Weight needs to suspend up here. Then you kind of Carolina rig up to a size seven or eight circle hook your bait. My modification is I like putting one of these little flashy lights on there to attract the fish. So far today, it's working out pretty well. Shark on, shark on, all right. Let's get this guy. Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's running. is just too strong my good hat is blown off a couple times gotten all wet so I don't want my ears to get sunburned so I'm gonna call it a day had that one good shark and now I've got this powered e-bike to push back through that headwind to get back to the parking lot otherwise I would really have a hard time well anyway hope you enjoyed the shark fishing comments throw them down below thanks